Hey guys, Gameboy3800 once again back with Project Ballide and in the next part of the video, Project Envy. Uh, in case you can tell, this is a temporary setup for Project Ballide, and Envy is in the other room uh, as the main computer. Here we are going to see uh, how much faster new technology is. So in case you did not know, Project Bolide has 20 gigabytes of usable memory. I don't know what's up with that, I'm trying to fix it, but 20 gigabytes of 2800 megahertz. An i7-5020K at 4.4 gigahertz. Twin 980 Ti's Hall of Fame LN2 and LN2 GOC edition, one of 100 ever made of each of them. And a Quadro M4000 stuck in between them. And then, many terabytes of space, I forget how many at this point. And, lots and lots of blue. Let's make it more blue. Yay! Uh, anyways, uh, no, we are not going to be doing a boot up test, although I suppose we could. Uh, this one would clearly win, it's, it has an SSD SD boot drive. So, yeah, let's not do that, actually. All we're going to do is test the render speed of the intro I use for Confident Gaming. Now, uh, Confident Gaming is the other channel I am associated with, and we do uh, gameplay stuff, pretty much. Check it out if you haven't already. Uh, anyways, the advertisement out of the way. get to the point when uh, we are at the editing software and about to render and take the time. Alright, it's booted up. I've closed all background processes. Uh, the sidebar will remain on since it is on in on Project Envy. And I'm just showing you all the cards I have here in the order that they actually appear. So top one there is in fact that top 980 Ti right there. Center one is the Quadro. And then the bottom one beneath that is the second 980 Ti. Then you can see 20 gigabytes of memory. Uh, and I closed the turbo boost meter, but it is at 4.4 gigahertz on all cores. So we're just gonna do Some random name. Uh, it doesn't matter what preset we have it in because it will change as soon as we enter in the uh, new thing. All right, there it is. 16 seconds long. Uh, in case you. In case you don't know what it is, uh, I do have it right here to show you. Here's a lower resolution of it, or a lower resolution version of it. We will be rendering the higher resolution version of it to give it uh, the most amount of time rendering as possible, and then it can repeat. Alright, so we're just going to save this right here. Oh, stupid phone, stay on. Going to uh, export it as WMV 1080p 30 frames per second. I have the exact same preset already loaded up on Project Envy, and then we will hit export. And then count how many seconds it takes to be completely done. So it's going to be kind of hard to do, so I will try to hit click and start at the exact right time. So in three, two, one.
Alright, we're at 12 seconds, that's 20% done. Uh, the source footage is 4K, you should know. What it is doing right now is downscaling. So I will see you as soon as it's done, since it might take a little bit, and I know you don't want to see this shaky camera the entire time. So I'll see you when it's done. Okay, it is at 99% done. And there we go, 2 minutes and 36 seconds, just about. So that is what Envy is going to have to beat. Uh, or at least get close to. And if it doesn't get too close at all, we will try to compensate by overclocking the graphics card, the memory, and the CPU to see if we can get it any higher. So let's go on and head on over to Envy. I'm going to close this all up here and shut it down since we're done here. So I'll see you in the other room. Okay. Here's the Project Envy. You've seen it over the past few weeks being built up, and now here it is as my main computer for a couple weeks. Shut up, phone. Now we are going to do the exact same thing. Going to open up Adobe. It does take longer. It's installed on an old hard drive. And just to, yeah, we're only focusing on render time, so just to eliminate the slow hard drives limiting uh, something, we will have it so that it writes to the, to the brand new 3 terabyte hard drive, so, same for the name. Once again, project is irrelevant since it will be changed to the 4K have base footage anyways, so. So there we go. And put it there. Now you can see that it's there. Going to do the exact same thing. WMV, 1080p, 30 frames per second. And we're going to hit export. And see what happens. Oh, hang on. Cancel that. Forgot to hit the phone timer right as I clicked. So let's make sure I get that done. Uh. So... There we go. Now we got it. Alright. Same sort of thing. We're going to let it go all the way through. And I'll let you know when it's done. Alright, it just hit 100% and you are not going to believe the time it took. Fifteen minutes and forty-five seconds. That's almost one minute per second of four K downscaling. This is a, this is a six, sixteen second clip. Like oh my god. <laughs> oh my. We have come so far in five years, and this just this just brings it all to reality. So we're gonna close this. Still waiting for it to close.
There we go. And that's why it took so long to close. It's using all its memory. So is the 570. As soon as we get uh, the memory dropped, we should be good. So any second now, the main RAM will go back down to normal. There we go. And the GPU meter I found... Yep, I found it just doesn't... Doesn't really want to work right now. So I'm going to try closing it and then reopening it. It's actually still feeling wonky after that. It did not like doing that. Downscaling or doing anything related to 4K. You can see the delay of anything happening on screen. There, with that closed. Uh, I'm going to restart. Actually, I'm going to restart mainly. Well, I was going to say restart to fix the uh, slowdown and graphics, but I really am going to slow down to add some overclock to it. So I'll see you when it's back in overclocked. All right, I thought I should show you what I did. Now, first things first, I increased the auxiliary fan speed to 55 before it, it was at 35. Uh, that means it will be a lot louder, but uh, it kind of needs to be. Voltage control. We're going to try to go for 4.2 gigahertz at 1.375 or 1. Point, what? What is it? Control speed step. I don't know why that wasn't enabled before. But yep, uh, voltage control. All right. Oh wow, we're actually pretty close to 1.4 volts and plus 100 millivolts. Well, you can actually go very high with that. Uh, millivolts is what I'm used to, so I'm not used to seeing voltage and VTT millivolts. So yeah, uh, RAM frequency. Our voltage is 1.65, and then we're trying to go for 1600. That should be easily achievable for that. But you never know, so we're going to save and quit that. Let's see if we can even get it to boot. This will be a first time high overclock like that. There we go. Hey, let's make sure the shadow controller is not going to die on us. Looks like it's good to go. Now, as soon as we get into Windows, I will set it to performance mode on the H100i so that we will have no possibility of overheating. Because on 4 GHz with it in its ultra quiet state that it is in right now, uh, it, it did get really hot, very hot actually, and I believe it did shut down because of thermal issues. So, performance mode it will be. Now, 15.45 is our time to beat. That's all the computer has lost for. And then I will turn it back down to stock or uh, to a less extreme overclock because 4.2 gigahertz on a first gen i7 is actually pretty high. The highest I ever got my i7 990X, or it's a six core extreme edition uh, in the Alienware Area 51 ALX first, first generation was 4.7 gigahertz. And I was with a H100i pulling in winter air, like it was almost snowing outside, and it was pulling in that air to keep the CPU under check. Anyways, here, 
just waiting for the slow hard drives to pick up on speed. So I will get back to you as soon as everything is set to go. Okay, so we're back. The system is much louder than it usually is because of the performance fan setting. Uh, we are we overclocked the GPU up to 850 megahertz and plus 50 megahertz on the memory. That should be good enough. We can't add any over over voltage for some odd reason. Uh, should I try to go for 875 or 860? Now let's go ahead and leave that. Let's just leave it as it is. Oh, and I also amped up the fan speed of it to keep it under control. Maybe I should amp it up even more. There we go. Go ahead and minimize that. And the CPU is sitting at a comfy 4.2 gigahertz, just about. And now with it in performance mode, let's try to do the exact same thing again. And hope it stays stable. That's going to be the next thing. This is a severe, severely dirty overclock. That's why the voltages were so high for the memory and for the CPU. I just wanted them to stay stable throughout this test. Stable is one thing, heat is another. So that's why the fans are on high performance mode. So yep, we're just going to open the project and render it again. Do not participate. I don't really care. All right, that's loaded up. Gonna save it to the same spot. Gonna give it a different name. Just some random numbers. And yeah. Now we're gonna reset the clock here. I'm gonna try to hit them close to the same time, so I will put the camera down. I hope you can see that. We're going to export it in three, two, there we go. Okay, now I, I know you guys don't want to see this whole process, especially since it took 15 minutes last time. So I will see you when it is done, or just about to be done, like it was last time. So I will see you probably 17 years my time, one YouTube second to your time. Alright, we're back at 100%. And as soon as that little bubble goes away, the render is done. Oh, great. <laughs> Something's happening. It's still there. Timer is still going. There we go. So what do we gain from that? From all that overclocking and risking this old system, we gained an entire minute and three seconds. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, it did start out much faster, but then it got slow towards the end. So, yeah. Perhaps if I did some research and found what a GTX 
570 was uh, capable of, like, it could be good to go up to 950 instead of 850, but I wouldn't know. And the uh, 967, uh, now I've I used the 930 up to 4.2, 4.3-ish gigahertz before, so I know that uh, that series of chip can handle this kind of load. Right. It still says the GPU is using a lot of memory. In fact, the GPU meter here has completely froze. Alright, and usually what needs to be done is a reboot here. So I am going to return this back to base uh, clocks so that... Uh, these are old components. I want them to last the two weeks I'm going to be using them. So let's go ahead and restart. And that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, even with overclocking, Project Envy, or just old hardware in general, uh, for rendering, it has absolutely no chance. The new hardware, like, worlds away, blows it out of the water. Like, blows it out of the galaxy. So, yeah. So... Okay, rendering isn't too great, but what about uh, actual gaming? That will be some other day. So we will test Grand Theft Auto V, the Borderlands series, uh, Far Cry 3 and 4, the Bioshock series, and some other random game. Yeah, okay, yeah. Random game. You don't know what it will be. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. Thanks. Game Boy out. I will see you in the next video.